Hello, hello everybody. This is Trina. I am excited to bring you my first project with the Hawthorne Papers. So, um, I did kind of like, I kind of pre-played with the papers before I actually came up with something that I liked and but I'm going to go ahead and show you my process for this card that I came up with. So um, it does start out with card, uh, the craft card stock and uh, or at least I think that's where I'm going to start. So I'm showing you the papers that I'm going to use and the, that I'm going to be using some die cuts or some dies from, and all these are from close to my heart. Um, Oh, I will definitely leave all the links to um, the uh, products below. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and um, I really should have showed you this at the beginning, um, but I didn't want to show you my final card. <laughs> I kind of went back and um, I don't know. Uh, what am I trying to say? I was inspired by page 31 of the Close to My Heart um, uh, core catalog. And it's the um, for this year. So um, for those of you who don't know, which I will show you at the very end. I will show, come back and show you because I totally forgot to mention it. Um, which was my intention to mention it, but that just didn't happen. So here we are. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah. I was, it's a, page 31 has a, um, a card that kind of has the stacked, uh, papers, uh, pattern papers, um, like this, where they just, you know, you have a small amount of space there and in between each color. And so that's kind of what I, what I took from that card for inspiration for this card. So, um, I decided that I wanted to do the word thanks, but there I tried a couple of different papers, pre you know, previously on my on my play card, and I didn't like any of them. And then I was like, well, I wonder if I use the ink that you know I want to use on this card, and just kind of make it look distressed. And I was like, well, that works perfect for that particular card because that particular card is kind of like a vintagey, not really vintage, just you know, um, more warm. Uh, warm, uh, I want to say hardy, but hardy is not the right word. Um, strong and warm, I guess, are the two words I would describe it. Um, anyways, so that's kind of where I'm, you know, at, what I'm doing, where I'm going. And so I just decided to um, use the So Very Much from the From the Heart um, stamp set from Close to My Heart that I do not believe that's uh, offered any longer, um, but uh, if you have it, then you could definitely use it. If not, you could definitely use um, whatever you have. You know, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm using new product and I'm using not new product. Like the tag itself is made out of a scrap of. Um, uh, colonial white cardstock, which is no longer offered um, through Close to My Heart. So, you know, um, I just, I want to use what I have, but I also kind of, you know, want to show you that even if you purchase things like this, this is the bronze twine here, if you purchase things and it goes out, it retires or whatever, you can still use it. And I use it all the time, like this, for instance. I think I probably should have cut some of this out. <laughs> it, this little string here gets away with me. So it is originally bronze. It's got a bronze, um, m like metallic line in it, and then it's got uh, white. And I don't want my string white, more my twine white for this card. So I decided to um, make it. Uh, what did I decide on? Espresso. And so, I, as you can see, I'm just turning it espresso. So, I'm just making sure it's dry. And I definitely didn't want you guys to hear the, you know, the heat gun and all that because it's nice and loud. And I'm just kind of testing it now just to see if it's dry all the way through. And of course, it's not. So, I go through and I, you know, 
course, spend another minute or so drying it. So um, that is something that you can do, though, with the twine because it is it is cotton. So you can definitely dye it whatever uh, color you need, um, which <laughs> I love. I love that part. So um, I'm going to do the tag there. And I don't really want it tight. I just kind of want it, you know, to sit there. And there's my thanks. And even though I already had this card made, well, practically made, I didn't have it fully made, but I did have it partially made um, as far as the idea of it, it still took me an hour and something to put it together, which is hilarious. I don't know exactly. I think it was the coloring because I'm using markers again, and I always take a long time to color. I think almost everybody does, but... So this is the Every Little Thing Vellum Shapes, I want to say, but they are butterflies. They are definitely a sheet of butterflies, flowers, and leaves. And um, so the vellum itself is like, it has a white base where the, the vellum itself is a clear white color. And I didn't want my butterflies to have a white base because this is not a vibrant bright card it's it's a warm and I don't know it's just a warm card it's not vibrant and bright and so um, I wanted to make sure that the my basis for my um, butterflies were more of a you know off-white you know what is it called gold brown tone <laughs> so um, I am using the spectrum nor tri blend marker from close to my heart and um, it's actually from close from spectrum nor but close to my heart is now carrying them in I think I think 20 whoa, 24 different colors um, wait a minute something like that I can't remember Anyways, I will leave the link to those to, to my website that has these um, in the description box below. So this one is, these colors that I'm using now um, are the gold brown, um, let's see, one, three, and five. And then I will go over, uh, some things in the dark red. Uh, let's see, dark red, uh, one, three, and four. So I'm kind of going over, and I want these darker, so I want to, you know, give them a bit more layers, and that will bring out the dark. Now, the... The alcohol markers don't blend all that well. Like, they don't really blend all that well. To be honest, they don't. But, I mean, like on vellum, they don't. But, um, and it, it, they, my things do end up kind of liney, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, you know, they actually turn out really nice. So, I, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things. I don't have a blender, so... As I said, I'm going to go ahead and go through, um, I hope I keep that, I did not even keep that on, um, in the frame, I do kind of go in and out of frame because I'm so close, but, see, there's DR4. And here I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a highlight. Now, because I have the gold brown down underneath of it, it kind of gives it a, instead of a white base, it gives it a, like, a gold brown base. Which means that the the red color will be warmer um, in color rather than cooler like the white. And I'm sorry that I'm out of 
frame here, I do catch it sometimes and get myself back in. And I was going to edit that out, but, you know, real life happens, so... Um, hey, look, I actually remember to move it. So this is the gold shimmer pen uh, from Close to My Heart. And it has gold mica glitter uh, in it. And um, I'm just going over the colored parts with this. So it's really hard to see there. But I, I try to go over it a second time, and the second time I can't remember if it's better or not, but I realize that it's not, like, because I did so many layers on this, the little red parts of this butterfly, it's not staying. So that's when I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull these out because I need to do something with them. Oh, and it's not staying. So... And I did kind of um, cut the, accidentally ripped the edge of the butterfly, so I just kind of glued it back together, which you can't barely tell, which I love. So these, I cut, trimmed these because I only needed the uh, top three leaves of the sprig. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for keeping that on there, so I decide to use some hairspray. Um, it's kind of a trick that you can do. Ooh, I'm not sure what I did. I must have bumped the camera or something. But, um, eh. this, yes, I did, um, I sprayed it with the hairspray, just a couple spritz, spritzes, and um, that keeps, that kind of, it kind of grounds it so that it has, like, stick. it sticks stuff to it, as hairspray naturally does. So when you put the glitter over the top of it, it just kind of mixes in with the hairspray. And then just, you know, like, as it dries, it just sticks. And so, you know, that was some. it allowed me to do a couple different um, layers of the shimmer uh, pen. So... I am excited about that. That's a tip for you guys if you guys don't, you know, mind using hairspray in your crafts. So now I'm able to go ahead and put my second. Uh, oh, look how, sh how that shines! I just love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And that's spritzing it a second time. And the reason I spritz it a second time is just simply to make sure that the glitter stays. Because I want the glitter to stay. I don't want it all over the place. I want it to stay. And I'm kind of, you know, struggling with how it rolls up and all that kind of stuff. And so, as I'm drying it. <laughs> and not all of my butterflies do this, but this one in particular, it really liked to roll, so... There we go. We got them all straightened back out. And I did notice that when I hydrate the back, it kind of relaxed a little bit, but then I had to dry it again. So <laughs> I finally got it um, the way I liked it, and they're ready to go. Um, I think I, at this point, I do remember, uh-oh, I forgot to, um, oh, I was talking about Splattering. I was like, I really want to splatter this, but I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so then I remember that I wanted to do some of these little sprigs with berries in it. And, I mean, they could be flower buds, they could be berries, they could be whatever you want them to be. Uh, again, I'm going to go over it in the darkest um, GB5 color. Um... And then I'm going over it with the darkest uh, dark red, which is DR4. And this way I can uh, make sure, you know, it brings out the same color red that's in the butterfly at the top. So. This time I'm just holding it down and 
heating it up and I was like, where did it go? And it was on my lap. <laughs> it was flying. So now I'm going to go in with the same process, the same process. Two of the gold brown GB5, two of the dark red blend uh, DR4, and then the two of the um, the gold and then the hairspray. And I think I'm going to use my Zots. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do end up using these. And you can barely see them on the thing, but they're kind of shiny there. And the reason I choose those is because I want a see-through... Um, a see-through... What do I say? See-through adhesive so that it doesn't show up through the... Um, through the vellum. And here I'm just kind of straightening these out. If you guys hear video games, I'm sorry. <laughs> the TV's right on the other side of the wall from where I'm sitting. And I do have my door shut um, in my room, but it's still. If the TVs, the speakers are like on the back side of the TV, which does not make any sense whatsoever. But I guess to save space, that's where they put them. But so, anyways, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want. Oh, that would have looked cute down there, actually. Um, yeah, I'm just putting the berries where I want them to be, and you know, just kind of adding it in there, and there it is. Now, I'm debating whether I want to put sprinkles or sparkles, bitty sparkles on there or not, because I really love bitty sparkles, and it's, it feels like empty down, um, like it has empty space above the thanks, and it has empty space down around the butterfly, and uh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, all done, and then I'm like, I really need to put something there, so I pulled them out, and I'm, now I'm going to take like six minutes to figure out exactly what I want to do here. Um, why that's cute, I just keep adding and adding and adding, because, you know, that's how I do. So, anyways, so this is coming to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Um, here in a second, it will show you that, um, you know, the, the card that inspired me. Um, to make this uh, kind of, I don't know if it exists, I mean, it doesn't really, it's, it, what do I want to say? It doesn't look at all the same, that is for sure. And so I'm going to try to find it here on my phone, because that's where my PDF of my catalogs are. Um, I gave my last catalog to a customer, because it's the only ones I had in on hand, and you know, that's what you do. You make your customers happy, right? Um, but yes, so this is... Oh, come on. I can find it. Anyways, so I do... I knew it was page 31, and I was like, wait a minute, maybe it's on this one. And I looked around, and this is the second... the supplemental catalog, and it's not, so... And I just won't give up. I, I have to find it, so... I do find it in the end. I do. It's in the core caddy, page 71. However, when you do a PDF uh, form and you search for page 31, it takes you. It includes like the catalog or the catalog cover and the cat. You know, the first couple of you know non-numbered pages. And anyway, so this is the uh, page, page 31, core caddy if you're interested, and um, it actually is for Paper Pals. I didn't want, I don't have Paper Pals, and, but the, uh, the, uh, card inspired me. The, I like the, um, the, se you know, the several layer, layers on the back. It just really, you know, kind of spoke to me, and I was like, well, you know, I can imagine that, so let's, let's create it. So, this is the card that helped me create, uh, or inspired me to create the one that I just created for you today. So, if you guys um, like this video, give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe if 
you want to, I'd love to have you. Um, check, check out my uh, website, um, my Close to My Heart website. It's hellotrina.closetomyheart.com. And um, you can also visit me on social media. I have an Instagram and a Facebook page, which are both at Hello Trina. And that would be it. I, again, all of the links will be in the description box below. And I hope you guys stay tuned for my next card. Thanks for watching.